A warm welcome to the voice of the people here in Germany. My name is Chantel Wallace. Thank you so much guys for the support you have been giving on to us. It is through your support. That's why we are bringing to you all this news all over the world. Today's topic is about Afghanistan. What is the future of Afghanistan? women and children and a girl child like we are all asking ourselves what's gonna happen to the women in afghanistan and also to a girl child according to what i had been watching and what i have been seeing you know after the taliban took over the afghanistan and after the government of taliban flew and left the country on the hands of, uh, uh, of these Taliban. There are many of the questions which are going all over because no one who is certain of what's gonna happen. And for sure, we can see some of the footage, some of the videos going aloud of what is happening right now in the land of Afghanistan. It's a quite, quite sad, when you get to watch millions of people trying to escape, but it become impossible. When I got to saw one of the videos, a lot of people trying to, to, to hang on the airplane, taking offer. Some got to hold the wheel of the airplane, and some got to go to the wings, and some got anywhere you could afford to hold. You know, it was overwhelming to get to hear that a lot of people got to rot their life. One of footballer who was only a young man, 24 years, he also got to lose his life in this incident, trying to escape, trying to run away, because nobody, nobody is certain about what's gonna happen in one month time, in two months time. They are all living a life that is not certain. According to me, people are asking themselves questions. Who are these Taribians? Who are Taribians? You know, what do you know about these people? What do you know about this group? You know, um, these are the people who have been fighting, you know, fighting the government of uh, Afghanistan and trying to take over the, the authority and trying to control everything, you know? And since 2001 when they, they are, there was a bombing in u.s on september 11th we got to see that the american sent their army to go to afghanistan to fight these crooks to fight this group you know the terrorist group you know and since that time they had been at least things has come to other control because we see before 1999 these people are the one who was controlling afghanistan and the life of a woman a lot of women lost their life a lot of girls also lost their life you know and according to what we know when they used to control these people there was nothing a woman was to stay indoor no man was allowed to get outside without a male person who would accompany them, you know? And after that, we got to saw that every woman was to cover their body. And when I talk about covering their body, I mean covering everything. You could see they cover their faces and only leave this space for the eyes. And even this space for the eyes, there is something like a net. They are only allowed to be seen. They, they are not allowed to be seen any part of their body. And you can imagine, after the American had been in that rad, they tried to bring the future, to build the future of a girl child, of women in Afghanistan, to make them feel also like being treated like human. Because I can't imagine 
that these people they are not even allowed to be seen on the balcony women and girls they were to stay indoors and they could be you know they had no there was this they have, they have no rights you know i know most of the arabs countries their women has got no right but i can't imagine in this uh generation that we are in right now we are in 2021 you know, if a lot of things has changed, I can't imagine people trying to bring that kind of right for like 20 years ago to come back to reality. Whereby, no woman is allowed to come out. The other day, Taribians said that every woman should stay indoors. That for their safety, they should remain being indoors, you know. And it is something I had been keeping asking myself now and then. What is the life of these children? Looks like kids who used to go to school, you know, they had a very happy life going outside, you know, having a normal life, you know, and now they have got to stay indoors, no coming out. You can imagine, you can try to imagine, you know, being locked indoor the whole day, the whole week. And you don't know even what will happen tomorrow. You don't know even when, what, what will happen after that. It's very frustrating. And for me also to see some of the small babies being given away to the American army, you know, being separated, their parents are just really crying for them to, to, to be taken away, to be taken in a safety. It is something that I'm keeping on asking myself, what will happen after this? Because... The world is looking to see what will happen. Nobody knows what will happen, but we are all eagerly looking. We are just trying to figure out what is the future of these women and girls like. The other day, Taliban also said that all the women who are, who are also seen on the screen, you know, they should get out of the screen. And I mean the journalist. They should not be considered, they should not take, go to work or something, you know. You can try to see that it is coming to those 20 years back, the life which those women of Afghanistan's hand. And it is something that is not good at all. I cannot imagine, like now, like I saw a group of very promising young lady, young, young girls, you know doing a lot of activities, building, because these people are very smart. These people are very, very smart. They have very wonderful brain, you know, and getting to see that people with a promising future, their future being cut short, it is something that it makes me feel like my heart is breathing. And right like now, nobody knows what's going to happen. Everybody is just crying for their relatives. I was watching a video also, a family in, um, a family in Britain crying for their family back in Afghanistan. And on the call, they get to say that they are hiding because the Taribians is looking anybody who used to work with the government. They want to eliminate them. They are looking everybody, every family that he had association or you had anything to do with government. You know, you can imagine how torture. And these things, by the way, happened very fast. Nobody see it coming. Nobody was ready for it. Because if at all people, they were ready. A lot of people, they were Americans, British. They were a lot of people from even other countries here in Germany. We have got a lot of people from there. In Africa, all, all over the world, there were many people who are, who are, who are stranded there. And if at all they, there was a signal, there was like an alert, they could have escaped before things get out of the hands. But what I see right now is people trying to escape, but there is no way to escape. In the airport, you just get to hear the guns who twa, 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 everywhere is chaos. People trying to run, people try to, to, to enter in the, inside the airport, the airport. You, there, there is some security air force from US and from Britain, they are taking offer, you know. The women and the kids on the line lining up trying to, 
it is frustrating imagine how life can turn in a brick of eye one day you are like this tomorrow you have got nothing like now people in afghanistan they're not even worried about i had a car i had what they were just worried to run away and escape and save their life imagine how these material things can be useful but can be useless you know there are people who had all the riches the buildings you know they they own properties they own companies but right now they are forgetting everything behind and trying to escape to go to a safety to go to a ride to start another life even not the clothes you can be able to carry how many clothes you'll be able to carry you'll just carry a small bag which it will help you to escape what happens ahead of you nobody knows their future is scattered nobody knows what they are expecting even the ones who are being evacuated the ones who are being taken away to another country it's another new life which they are going to start imagine leaving everything behind imagine leaving everything you have work on you work day and night saving your money sometimes you don't even buy yourself something good though. and that's why you should enjoy life enjoy today like there is no tomorrow because nobody knows about tomorrow all those savings you you carry you save you sweat you work hard and all of a sudden i cannot imagine a lot of people have worked hard to build afghanistan to reach where it is today only for one day to make everything become useless you know all the sweat all the effort everything you know and that is why i'm trying to say when you wake up and you are able to enjoy your life enjoy it my brother my sister to the fullest you don't know about tomorrow like now if somebody in afghanistan was told that you leave this car that you like most you not even forget or remember the value of it you leave this building this house you like most you will free to save your life they could not believe it but imagine for them they are just trying to run away to save their life going to a safety place to start all over again from zero from nothing that's why you get to know there is no certain in this life the only certain we, we have it is life in jesus when you have jesus and when you know that, when you put, the Bible says, in fact, I will quote a, a verse in the Bible, which says, when you put your word in this world, one day that word can be destroyed, but put your word in heaven, whereby you know there is nothing that, that can, can destroy the, that, that faith you have in God. That faith you have, that courage you have that you know devotion you have for god you know it is all what matters because riches and things from this world you can see you can learn a lesson from these people they are learning away they are leaving everything behind they are not they are not even thinking of you know looking behind you how we rely take my car how will i do we, mm -mm. they are just trying to save their life so the only thing I got to learn from this story and from these incidents in Afghanistan is that have a good connection with your creator. Because a time like this can make even people, a lot of people end their life. A lot of people who have got no good connection with God, they will fall into depression and kill themselves. Because they, will, they can't imagine leaving everything they have worked for for many years behind you know and it become useless just like that but for that who believes in god who knows that these riches we are all going to leave it here this money we are all going to leave it here even if we see a lot of rich people they die they leave all their riches there you know they don't go with their riches but that after this life that life is what matters so work hard get good connection with your creator you know get good faith because you know a, a situation like this it's only your faith that will keep you going home. it's only your faith in god that will keep you going otherwise when things stand like this 
there is nowhere to run to you know and that's why i'm saying kindly if you are there if you are a prayer warrior pray for these afghanistans they need our prayer we might not be able to help them physically but we can bow down in our knees and pray for them pray for the women there who are crying who are being locked inside they don't know what will happen tomorrow they don't have food to eat you know they are suffering inside they are terrified you know pray for them they need that strength to keep on fighting they need that small faith inside them that will tell them keep on fighting life is worth fighting for you know so do you have anything to share with us we would argue with you there is some of our email address that is wrote there in our video there down our video so thank you so so much wonderful people for your support and once again if you are new there and it's your first time to watch our videos kindly hit that subscribe button down there subscribe to our channel and also leave the notification bell on so that you can be notified when we are uploading the next video so uh we are so grateful for your support your comment also keep us going and carry us through the comment section leave your comment down there so that we can know what's your thought in this what can you tell us where do we have to to like we also want to hear from you people we also also want to get your advices you know for our channel to grow and for us to know what kind of feed you would you like us to bring next reporting for the voice of the people here in germany my name is chantel wallace until next time keep safe may god bless you